Hello everyone, welcome to today's update Tuesday. Today we are going to be using the Gangs All Mirror stamp set and we are going to combine it with the Bonanza dies. Now these dies with, let me find my Bonanza Buddies stamp set, my, the Bonanza Buddies. So they go with this stamp set, but we are going to use them today with the Gangs All Mirror because it makes a super cute little um, pillow box is what we're going to make today. Um, I'm really excited about it. It is what Stampin' Up! shared with us demonstrators this morning in their inspirational um, photo. And I hope you enjoy it as much as I do. Now, I do not have a pillow box completed, so you are going to watch along as I complete it. So, hopefully you all enjoy watching it. I'm pulling up my video here to make sure you all can see everything that I'm trying to show you. Hi Brenda, how are you? So if you are on here, go ahead and say hello so I know you're here. Let me know what you like about it. Now these are our craft, I think they're called craft pillow boxes. And as I say that out loud, I'm not quite sure, but they are our pillow boxes and they have a white polka dot. They're, they are scored already. They're already you know put together other than folding them. So you're gonna fold the solid one in first and then this one that has that little notch out that's your top one actually I think I just did that backwards you want your notch on the inside so it's easier to pull it out so put your notch for the inside and then your solid one as your top and then do the same at the other end you just fold it on that score line and then instead of having the side where these are um, showing you want to flip it this way this will be the front of your pillow box now these will fit some little candies, um, a little jewelry, anything tiny. A little Hot Wheels car would probably fit in here. Not a Hot Wheels car that's still in its packaging, but one that's taken out. So these are cute to use just for little birthday gifts. Um, you can use them for Valentine's, whatever you wanna use them for. But those are the pillow boxes and that's what we're gonna use today. So the first thing we're going to do is I already pre-die cut one of these cute little stitched tags, stitched tags from Whisper White cardstock. You can see the hopefully see the stitching on there. And then we're going to use these little meerkats, and we're going to get them stamped on there in memento ink. And then we are going to use the Stampin' Blends to color them in. So get your stamp inked up. Make sure it's inked well. And then just stamp your little meerkats right on there. They will just fit. A little bit of them doesn't fit, like the little tail on the side here. But for the most part, they fit completely on there. So you don't have to worry about losing too much of the picture. Now, when I like to do my Stampin' Blends, we're going to use a few Stampin' Blends together, different colors. We're going to use Soft Suede, Light, and Dark. We're going to start with them first. And I'm just gonna use the writing tip and I'm just gonna go over these little lines just a little bit, just a little bit on the edge of their heads, the top of their heads. And then you'll see once we use these alcohol markers, everything's gonna blend together. So Brenda, if you have your sound turned on, I hope you do, because sometimes I know we're in places and we're watching videos and we don't have our sound turned on. Do you have this stamp set? Do you like it? What do you think of it? So go ahead and like I said, I use the soft suede dark. I'm gonna use actually some of this bronze as well. This is even just a little bit darker. I'm gonna go even just a little closer to the edge. It's a little bit different tone, a little more bronze obviously than the soft suede. And you can just do it around those lines just so you get a little bit of contrasting colors because we're going to want their little bellies to kind of stay a little lighter and a little more white. And I'm going to show you my trick for doing that without having to leave them completely white, you know, with no color on them. Take your soft suede light, go ahead and just add a little bit extra around those spots. Because in a minute we're going to just fill in and you're going to be like, oh my goodness, that turned out so cute. Everything just kind of blends in together. And it gives it just enough color. I'm gonna put make their feet just a little bit darker with this soft suede instead of because I'm gonna blend in everything in with the crumb cake. 
um, cake light is what I'm gonna use to blend everything in. Make sure I got all their little tails there. There's only a couple of tails, but I wanna make sure we get them all. So crumb cake dark I'm gonna use for the sand, but crumb cake light, and I'm gonna use the brush tip for this part. So when I color them in, I just go over, and you can just do one little coat, but I like to just go over quite a bit and kind of blend everything in. Hi, Christine. Hi, Chrissy. Hi, Ingrid. How are all of you? I hope you are all having a good evening. We are using the Gangs All Mirror stamp set, and we just colored them in with some of the other blends. You'll have to replay to see which all the blends that we use, and yes, you can see the colors right here. I've got my labels on them, so hopefully you can read them. That's why one reason I like those labels is that it's easier for you all to see what colors I'm using, which I think is fantastic. I love these little meerkats. And once you go over those darker colors with those lighter colors, it just blends everything in together, which I think is fantastic. I don't know, do you all have the blends? Do you use them a lot? I use mine a lot and when there's most of the time when there's something that I need to actually physically color the photo in I use my blends for that so now I took Ro, uh, Rococo Rose Light and I wanted to give them each little pink cheeks so I just used that Rococo Rose Light and just did a little tiny circle at the end of each of their cheeks now I know I should not have colored in his teeth there because he's smiling with his teeth showing and he's got brown teeth now but I'm going to take this color lifter, if you have the color lifter, it's a fantastic little tool. I am going to use for his teeth. It's gonna be hard for you to see, but I'm just gonna lift that color right out of there so it, it will be white again. I know it's kind of hard for you to see. And then I'm gonna take the brush tip and I'm just gonna go over the bellies a little bit and kind of make their bellies white. And what this does is it kind of lifts off that color, but the fantastic thing is, is it's not on the tip of your pen. But it just kind of washes it out a little bit. See how that just kind of washed it out just a little bit and made their bellies white again. So I kind of want their little bellies and their little chest to be white. So that's why I'm just going back with this color lifter. And it saves me or you or whoever is doing this from trying to avoid coloring in a certain area. I mean, you can do that if you're that, I'm just not that good, so. Hi Sandy, hi Rana, thanks for joining. I hope you're having a great evening. So there you go, so there's those little meerkats. Aren't they adorable? I love these little guys. And what's fantastic about this stamp set is it is a free stamp set. You can earn it with a $50 purchase. I mean, so obviously you have to make a $50 purchase, but if you're already doing paper crafting projects, you are already purchasing probably that much, or you can buy two months worth and purchase it all at once just so you can earn something free these next couple of months. And then I just use the Crumb Cake Dark for the sand. So those are all the colors we used. Soft suede dark, bronze, soft suede light. I guess I could have put those two together. There we go. Crumb cake light and dark, Rococo rose, and the color lifter. All right, we're just gonna shove those off to the sides. So now that we have that colored, we're gonna work on decorating our little box. So what I used and what is in the photo um, is we use some of the designer series paper that goes with the Bonanza. It's Bonanza birthday designer series paper. And I believe I need two. I'm trying to do the exact same as what um, Stampin' Up's photo was from this morning. So we're gonna have all these little pennants. Aren't these adorable? And they've got all have a little print on them. So I think they're really cute. Hi Fran, how are you? Thanks for joining. So I'm just gonna use some glue dots. You could use the Tombow glue if you want, but I just thought glue dots, super easy. And then I won't be stick into everything either because you know how I get with glue sometimes it's all over my fingers and we're just gonna stick those onto that pillow box so they started with the yellow then they did this pool party one 
And I probably don't need a glue dot on each one. I can probably do the ends and be fine. I won't have to actually, the center ones don't necessarily need it once they get kind of wrapped around here. Just having that glue dot to hold them down, that's perfect. So just do the ends. Then you're not using quite as many glue dots and wasting supplies. Hi Lois, how are you? Thanks for joining. How was your trip to Alabama? All right, this one kind of goes just across the front. And in their little picture, they have all these little edges just sticking off. So you can always trim those off if you don't want the little edges sticking off, but I think it looks just fine. Like with those little edges sticking off, it's not a big deal to me. So, you know, that's personal preference. We'll do another one of these pool party ones. Kind of just go across the front and then our last little banner. I love these little flag pennants, banner pennants. I don't know what you call them. Pennants, banners, I don't know. What does everybody call them? I, I, you can, I guess you can call them either or put them all in the same name, I guess. And then kind of bring this one around now. When they did it, they actually tied their ribbon around first and then added these on. But I, there's gonna be, the ribbon is gonna be tied around this way. So I thought, man, if I kind of put that ribbon under there, this way it gives the person the option if they wanna keep the ribbon on there or not. So just unroll some of this Whisper White polka dot tool ribbon. And you're just gonna get enough of it because you're gonna make a bow at the top. And now this ribbon is kind of stretchy, so you don't want to stretch it too far or it looks really weird. So you just want to kind of pull enough so you have enough to make a bow. Hopefully that'll be enough. We're going to trim it and find out. If not, I'll be using this piece of ribbon for something else. Kind of even it up a little bit. Get my little tag out of the way. How many of you, I asked this earlier, um, but there weren't as many people on, have this stamp set? And have you used it? Do you like it? What have you made with it? All those good things. I love this little stamp set. I've made some birthday cards. Um, I think it's just fantastic. So just tie it once. And I will say this ribbon is pretty easy to tie, so you don't have to worry about it being hard to tie a bow with this ribbon because it does tie pretty easy. And your bow doesn't have to be perfect. As I always say, just tie it as best you can because no one's going to look at your bow and go, oh my God, look at how she tied that bow. I think I'm just gonna trim these little edges off just a little bit. This one's already on an angle. I don't even have to trim that one. So we have that finished. You're gonna need a just a small piece of, um, Calypso Coral, just a little scrap piece because we are going to stamp on it with the Memento ink again. We're going to stamp happy birthday to a stand, stand up friend, but we're only going to be using the happy birthday because we're going to cut these out and then you're going to stamp from all of us. So it's going, the little tag is going to say happy birthday from all of us. Now, if you wanted to, you could just mask this off with a piece of tape or something and get just your happy birthday but I didn't think it was that big of a deal just to stamp the whole thing since we're going to be cutting it out anyway now if I wasn't cutting it out I would probably I would definitely mask it because otherwise you'd have more than you want on your little tag so we've got the happy birthday and then we're just going to fussy cut around this from all of us part and it doesn't have, you don't have to go exactly around each letter, just fussy cut as much as you can or as much as you want to. You could even have made it just straight across like the happy birthday part, but in their photo, they kind of went around the letters a little bit. So I'm like, I'm just gonna do it that way as well. And then flip them over. We're gonna add some mini dimensionals to the back of them. Hi, Lisa Marie, how are you? How is your day going? Hope you're having a good day. I don't even know what's attached. Oh, I have some little feathers attached to the back of this from when I was working on a different card. All right, so a couple of little mini dimensionals on the back of your happy birthday. And 
then peel those backings off and just kind of set it aside. Have them, it'll be ready to go when you're ready. And then take one more Stampin' Dimensional and just cut it in half because this um, From All of Us is kind of skinny and so you only need these little halves and that's plenty. And then just once they're on there, go ahead and peel the backings off from those as well. And that's where that take your pick tool comes in handy for peeling those backings off. Works perfect. All right, so just stick your happy birthday from all of us onto the front of your little tag. And then I have also die cut a little hat that's gonna go on the tallest little meerkat there. And I'm just gonna put it on him with a glue dot. And I'm gonna make it a little bit crooked because I think that's cute. Hi, Diana, how are you? Thanks for joining. And then we're gonna use these cute little assorted pom-poms. These also come with that Bonanza Buddies um, suite of products. And I think we'll use maybe one of these light Calypso Coral ones there. And then we will go ahead and use those glue dots again. We've used glue dots a lot for this project, but it's actually one of the perfect things to use for this project. So just stick that on your glue dot roll, scoop it up, stick it right on your hat. Ta-da, isn't that cute? He's so cute with that little hat on. I think he's adorable. Now, you can also stamp the hat. There is a hat in the stamp set, and you can stamp it and then cut it out if you want to as well. But since there is already a little, I call it a hat, it could be just an extra little banner die, I just cut the little hat out from that because I thought it was perfect. Now, we're going to attach this to that little um, pillow box. We're just going to use some linen thread. How many of you love linen thread? This is one of my favorite things to use for, I use it a lot, I love it. So I just took a pretty long chunk and doubled it because I want this to be a double bow when I tie it onto this little pillow box. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna lace it through the top here because I'm gonna tie it directly to this bow. And I say I'm gonna lace it through and then I it doesn't go through, there we go. So I know Lisa Marie loves linen thread. I love it too. It's one of my favorites. It's so easy to add onto a project with it. So we're just gonna tie this in a bow after we get it tied on here. So just make your bow. You can do it any way you want. Today I'm gonna do my little bunny ears technique and that's how I tie my shoes. That's how I learned how to do it in kindergarten and I have never stopped tying my shoes that way. I think it works pretty good when you're doing a double bow. And now of course this little end needs to be snipped because that was the end that we, um, that I doubled, where I doubled the um, linen thread. So this was today's one of Update Tuesday projects and I thought it was the cutest one and I really wanted to recreate it because I love this little pillow box. It's going to make a cute little birthday um, card, gift card holder, or, you know, some other little gift. And it's actually pretty simple. Once you have all these little die cuts done, it's super easy to make. Now, I wanted to show you what else I did just before I started the video. I decided to use, and of course, let me find my folder, or at least the wrapper for the folder the stone 3d embossing folder and i took a piece of whisper white cardstock and i ran it through that is what this background is that's with that new stone 3d embossing folder and i just basically did this same thing i just added my little banners on the front of that card it's just a whisper white card base i just tied a bow i didn't tie it around the card you know around the card front i just tied a bow and then added this basically this same little tag to the front of a card. So even though this was a 3D project, you can turn that into a card super easy. You can turn a card into a 3D project super easy. So always remember that. 
it doesn't, when you see a project, you can always change it up and make it a little bit different to suit what you are wanting to do. So I hope you enjoyed today's Update Tuesday with the Gang's All Mirror stamp set. And remember, this is a free celebration stamp set that you could earn um, with a $50 purchase. So if you do not have a demonstrator and you would like it, just go to ValerieSmith.StampinUp.net and you can make a purchase and earn it for free. Um, yes, Lisa Marie, I see it would make an excellent scrapbook page. You could just add all of these little banners and maybe I'll have to make a scrapbook page and post that tomorrow because I have some extra banners cut. Maybe I will do that. See, now you've inspired me to make a scrapbook page. That is something Lisa Marie has always said to me as well. If you have a card, you can enlarge that idea to make a scrapbook page. It could be a six by eight, uh, eight by eight, 12 by 12, whatever size scrapbook page that you want. So thank you for watching today's Update Tuesday. I hope you have a great rest of your Tuesday evening and make sure you head over to my blog, stampinwithvalerie.com. It will have all of the written instructions for this project. I didn't put the written instructions for this project because I figure once you watch the video and you have the instructions for this, you can basically recreate and make yourself a card. So have a great Tuesday evening. I live and love to inspire you. Have a great day. Bye.